guys, welcome back to me watch movie. I'm Mike. I said, God damn, and I'm watching some Amazon shits today. Um, so I guess I, I just read about this last night. They do every once in a while, Amazon will just be like, hey, fuck you guys, here's some pilots, pick one. And uh, people vote on them, and then I guess one gets picked. Is it only one? Can there be only one? When I read that, it was The Tick, and Jean Claude Van Damme's in one, and then there's one with Kevin Bacon. I was like, fucking sign me up, let's do this shit. But why can there be only one? That bums me out. Uh, and The Tick is the first one that I've watched. I don't know if I'm gonna watch all three of them for sure, just in case, as a sale safe and safe. I don't know if I, if I get a raging case of the shits or something, you know, or the Olympic swim team wants to show up and have sex, then the men's one. Uh, then I might. You know, if something comes up, but I at least can review The Tick and definitely the Jean-Claude Van Damme one. So, The Tick, the one I just watched, uh, it deserves way better than this. It just does. That was so fucking cool. I thought it was rad. I loved it. Peter Serifinowitz, I'm just going to call him Pete. Um, Pete plays The Tick. And I remember the show from back in the day. I just remember it being really funny uh, and, and, and liking it a lot, but I don't remember much from it at all. I just remember it was kind of strange and maybe a little bit dirty, maybe a little bit I wasn't supposed to be watching. I can't remember for sure, but I remember thinking it was funny as shit as a kid. And I pretty much have the same sense of humor now as I did then, so, you know. But uh, I figured I'd probably like it. Plus, Pete is a pretty funny dude. Pete's terrific wits. The dude who who said, what a bunch of a-holes in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's the guy playing the tick, if you don't know who Pete's their phone number is. Cox. Um, but yeah, so it's also got this other kid in it, and basically it it's mainly follows this kid around who's delusional and sees stuff sometimes. He's not sure if the tick's real, uh, but some bad stuff happened to him was a kid, when he was a kid. I won't get into spoilers. And uh, uh, he lives in this cool world where uh, superheroes are like almost athletes or the Kardashians or whatever. Like they're always talking about him on the radio stations. They're always in the news. Whoopi Goldberg is, uh, I fucking hate Whoopi Goldberg, but she's interviewing uh, a superhero on her couch talking about him. And he allegedly killed this Magneto looking bad guy. Uh, but this kid still thinks that he's alive and he has a personal tie to him because of some bad shit that happened when he was a kid. And uh, yeah, it's the tick. So the guy who uh, the show centers around, you kind of see it through his eyes. You don't see it through the tick's eyes. He's cool. Like he's, he, he does a good job wherever. You feel terrible for him. Uh, he, he lives this kind of dungy life. Um, and then all of a sudden the tick shows up. And there's one action scene. I mean, it's just the pilot. There's one action scene with the tick where he goes and he fucks up bad guys. And it's really, really cool, you guys. Like, uh, he's super... His suit's fucking weird. Like, his suit... I, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a joke, kind of. It's not supposed to be so realistic, but they did a really good job with it. Like, the suit looks very strange. You can almost see him moving uncomfortably in it, even when he's fighting bad guys. And, like, when he bends over, you can, like, hear the rubber squeaking. And then his, his the antennas move on their own, which is creepy in its own right. But his voice is what I want to talk about. His voice is fucking epic. I didn't think about this beforehand, but what this turned out to be was fucking Anchorman in a superhero movie because his voice is dead on some Ron Burgundy shit. At one point, he, he does something cool and blows up some shit, and you just hear him from afar go, Tell it from a mountaintop! And I shit my pants in laughter. Like, literally, like, I, I, like, dad laughed for, like, five fucking minutes. I, I had to, like, pause it. It made me laugh so fucking hard. But, yeah, it really, just the way his voice works, sometimes it, it, it doesn't sync quite right. Like, when he's in action and they're shooting at him, and you can tell that some of the stuff's a little bit low budget, but they did a really good job making the effects practical as hell in this. But... When he's walking through and they're shooting him and the sound's real loud, they still have to project his voice to have that deep, I'm the tick! That's pretty fucking good. They still have to project that, so it comes off as kind of fake sounding. It doesn't look like he's actually talking. It's kind of weird. Uh, but guys, I love this. I, I fucking hope to God that they keep doing this. Like, I think you guys are going to love it too. It's got some cool, dorky superhero stuff. Like, all the bad guys you can tell are like straight, almost rip-offs from other movies and stuff like that. I swear to God, there's, there's some superheroes in this. You see a plane, and it reminds me straight off of um, Superhero Squad. Like, the... the the thing that the squatties roll around in sometimes. It, it just, it looks cool. I, I love how it looks like they're just toys come to life. It's got kind of a YouTube quality to it, but it's also got a, like a, a District 9 quality to it, the way it's shot. It just looks really good. Like you can tell some of it's low budget. 
uh, but it still looks really good and practical. I think we just miss, with all the fucking horseshit CGI going on today, I think we just missed the way practical effects look. So even the, the ones that didn't cost as much look really good. And they do look good. I, I say low budget. I don't mean it looks like crap. I mean it looks like it's supposed to look. Like it's kind of kind of funny, but uh, realistic enough that you can get into watching it. And just the way that they do superheroes in this, where the whole world knows about them, and there's websites with superhero databases, there's like an IMDb for superheroes, for God's sakes, and just the way everything's done, it's such a cool world to spend time in, and it's fun, and fucking, I think superhero fatigue needs this, probably, uh, something just crazy and out there like this, and, and Pete, you did a great fucking job, Pete, he's awesome as the tick, I, it was hard to replace the first guy's voice, he, he did such a good job of it, from what I remember, it was such a distinguishable voice, but uh, I think it's fucking fantastic. So uh, definitely watch The Tick, guys, and it's going to be, I mean, I love Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I cannot wait to watch him and his show. I bet it's going to be fucking hilarious, but if it's good, I'm going to be really bummed almost, because do you have to pick between these two? Like, what is that shit? The Tick should be easy. It should just get a pilot, and they should run with it. It's fucking awesome. So please, go watch The Tick on Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you get it for free. Um... Stream that shit and watch it. I think you're going to laugh your panties off. What are your all's memories of The Tick? What do you watch on Amazon? Does anybody watch fucking Amazon? What do you guys watch on it? Comment down below. Let me know. I love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you.